Polls across the country open for today's midterm elections and the Pennsylvania race for U.S. Senate between Democrat John Fetterman and Republican Mehmet Oz is one of the most watched races in the entire country. The two candidates holding election night events on opposite sides of the state. Mehmet Oz will be in the Philly suburbs in Bucks County. John Fetterman will watch results come in from Pittsburgh. And that's for Fox 43's Harry Lee joins us live with a look at what we can expect tonight from the U.S. Senate race. Well, John Fetterman is having his event here in Pittsburgh at the AE stage. Now, this is going to be a long nail biting night for Democrats. The latest polls show that Republican opponent Mehmet Oz is up, but just by half a percent. That means that the race is basically a 50 50 toss up. And here's why that matters. The U.S. Senate is also 50 50 split between Democrats and Republicans. So whoever wins this race could determine which party controls the Senate. Now, as for the timeline of counting the votes, we probably aren't going to know the results for a few days because Pennsylvania doesn't allow poll workers to start opening until or counting mail-in ballots until Election Day. It took four days to count enough votes to call the race in the 2020 election. This year will likely be faster, but we are already seeing some delays. Philadelphia officials announced they will delay the counting of thousands of paper ballots after a lawsuit accused one polling location of being open to double counting. With a race this close, that could affect the outcome. The country may be waiting with bated breath to know the winner, but we likely won't know who that is tonight. Now, we are here set up, ready for the event to begin, and we'll be here all night to let you know any results as they come in. Live in Pittsburgh, Harry Lee, Fox 43 News. All right, Harry, thank you. U.S. Senate nominee Dr. Mehmet Oz cast his ballot in Huntington Valley just outside of Philadelphia today. Now, Dr. Oz has faced questions about his relationship with Turkey, the birthplace of his parents, and where he also has citizenship. Oz uh, says he would renounce his dual citizenship in Turkey if he's elected to the Senate. Again, results of this race could impact which party controls the Senate, and polls show the race very, very close. And again, we may not know the winner of this race for several more days.